Hiya, I'm Azaman, and Shrier and Beyond Journey's End is stupendously good. I love those characters, but I don't want to talk about Stark, Fern, or even Shrierin right now. I want to talk about this one item and its concept and the impact it had on a legacy character. And this video will talk about episode 12 of Freerin, the Hero Sword, because that episode left a very strong impression on me. I would recommend going and watching it. Or not, but you probably don't care. So you've heard the title of the episode, so let's talk about Himmel, the hero. The man who wielded the legendary hero sword, and with that sword in hand led a party of adventurers to finally slay the Demon King. Overall, I think Himmel is a wonderful character. I think he has a nice, simple design fit for a hero slash protagonist. Soft colored hair, delicate features, a kind smile, and eyes that can sharpen to demonstrate his resolve. He's also got this cute mole that makes him distinct. Briskly moving to his personality, he's kind hearted and has a desire to bring peace and save the world. A lofty dream, but one that's manageable thanks to his skill and heart. Then to this mix we can add the legendary hero sword a weapon of prophecy that legitimizes his claims of being the hero to slay the Demon King. Which is exactly what he did, proving himself as the ultimate hero of legend. From an outside perspective, Himmel fits the perfect mold of a hero, and over a century after his victory over the Demon King, he is still celebrated and revered. Everyone looks up to him and his name is almost always mentioned in every town Freerin and Fern visit during the events of Beyond Journey's End. However, everything I just mentioned is from an outside perspective. Most of what I said doesn't even touch on the actual man who Himmel was. Everything I said is just his myth, the legend built up around him. He is seen as a flawless hero, a genuine legend. But as we see through the various flashbacks of Freerun, that's far from the truth. For instance, Himmel had an ego, a playful one, but still an ego. He was pretty vain too, and he also had deeper feelings. Like for example, his emotions and feelings towards Freerin, but he maintained his respect, acknowledging the fact that she didn't feel the same way. That's very respectful. <laughs> but back to that ego thing, we have plenty of examples of that based on exhibit number every single statue we see of him. Then there's actual his softness and the empathy he felt towards demons, and this is not a video about him or the hero, a hero in the ideal. This is just a video where I want to talk about a small scene. Ahem. Himmel's legend in the world of Freerun builds him up as this unstoppable, unfailing, perfect chosen hero to avenge the people of the world. But the true beauty of that is the fact that he's just... he's not. He's not the chosen one. He's not the legendary hero of prophecy. The legendary hero is supposed to wield the hero's sword, but... Wait, he's got that, right? Yeah, he's, he's, he's got it right there. That, that's the hero's sword. <laughs> but as we find out in episode 12 of Freerin... Freerin. I don't understand. That's the hero's sword in there. Himmel tried. But he couldn't pull the sword from the stone. Another failure. We'll keep waiting for the real hero. Himmel failed. He couldn't draw the sword from the stone. He was a failure and a fake hero. The world would need to wait for the real hero to arise. Yet we know that Himmel didn't stop there. He didn't give up. Instead, upon learning of this hard truth, and being confronted dead in the face with his failure, he keeps his determination and turns to greet his allies with his kind smile and signature resolve, stating, Are you okay? I don't think there's anything wrong with being a fake hero. I'll still defeat the Demon King and bring peace to the world. And when I'm done, nobody's going to be concerned about me being a fake or not. Himmel, in the literal sense, is not a legendary hero of destiny. Himmel is just a hero. He was a young man who wanted to do the right thing and set off on an adventure with his childhood friend, recruiting help as he went forward, which isn't even like a Dragon Quest protagonist. Most of those guys are princes or later find out they are destined for something or are like part dragon slash celestrian. 
if anything, he reminds me of Link from Wind Waker, or even the protagonist from Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. In those games, the protagonist is just a boy from the village. They aren't anyone important. For the protagonist of Dragon Quest VII, he's not even a swordsman. His best friend is a prince desperate for adventure. He recruits a wolf of a curse, a dancer whose purpose is to revive God. He recruits a legendary hero from centuries ago who fought the Demon Lord. And yet, the protag of Dragon Quest VII, much like Himmel, is just a normal guy who wanted to do the right thing. They did not need a legendary sword. Both of them just go on to prove themselves as heroes. And key word, heroes. Not legendary heroes. Heroes of fate, heroes of prophecy. Just hero. And that's what Himmel did. He still went on and he still slew the Demon King. He was true to his word when he said that when he was done, no one was going to be concerned about him being a fake. And that tracks, he is beloved across the world as the hero. The legend is built up around him, and the story was altered to say that yes, he did draw the sword. He was the hero of prophecy, even though he wasn't, even though that's just a lie, but the result of it is still the same. The legend elevates him beyond his actual capabilities. And the sword, being in the cave just pointless and never used, is an amazing addition to this story. It's an example of human tenacity and the resolve that really tells the viewer, yeah, come on. This is why he was able to save the world. His spirit, not destiny, not some gift from the gods, but just himself. The person who Himmel was, that's what saved the world. And I adore that trait in Heroes. There's plenty of great examples, but those lads just probably get their own video some other time. And that about covers this video. I know it's a shorter one, but I'm working on two big videos right now. One of which was going to be Persona 3 related, but uh... Well, if we check the calendar... Yeah, that, that, that was going to be reloaded today, so... Yeah, sorry, I, I was going to cover the movies, but those are, in actuality, four movies. <laughs> so that's being pushed back to March 2nd, which I think is good because it brings us closer to March 5th. And if you played Persona 3, then you know why that day is very special. Oh yeah, also videos, those are back to a bi-weekly schedule. I skipped January. I, uh, I don't actually have a good reason outside of having a life. Which, yes, I, I do actually have one. Anyway, I have been Azamen, and thank you uh, very much for watching this video. So consider sticking around if you don't hate my voice. My sole goal here is to improve my writing, editing, and speaking. Good. Bye.